Hey guys, Warfighter here, and today we're gonna do that Q and A. Yeah, um, I was supposed to do it a few days ago, but been kind of busy, and I actually bought a PlayStation 4. More info of that at the end of the video. But let's get on to uh, questions here. I'm gonna do three, three in depth. All right, so. First question here is from Crystal Web Production. Who would win in an epic fight to the death? Superman or the Hulk? Now, uh, this is one of the things I've been... It's one of those things I've, like, talked about a lot, you know, with my friends and... Well... Okay, if you look at Superman, as overpowered as he is, he gets his powers from the sun, right? It's, it's weird. Are we just going Savage Hulk? and just regular Superman because then I have to say probably Superman but then if you take regular Superman right um, and then you get probably world breaker Hulk then it might change if I remember correctly he stomped the ground and the whole planet almost like cracked in half that's crazy but I haven't seen Superman do that yet which I don't read DC comics but that's your answer that's the definitive answer. Savage Hulk versus regular Superman, probably gonna be Superman. World Breaker Hulk versus regular Superman, I'm going World Breaker Hulk. Sorry. All right. Uh, yeah. Before, let's go to the next question. All right, we got a Nathan Crawl. Crawlwell, Crowell, my God. What do you think of the Walking Dead ending? Who died? Well, if you've seen my so-called thoughts on it, um, I love the ending. Spoiler alert, I love how they were building tension with every stop, making it seem like there was a lot of these guys. And like, you know, they get caught, and then Negan comes out, and he just, he gives that very sadistic speech. I loved it. I just loved it. It's like one of the finales I really uh, love next to The Flash, that the first season finale for that. And who do I think died? Well, obviously wasn't Carl, now was it? I can only hope. No, but seriously, I think it was Glenn. Either Glenn or... Dude, Daryl? Because Glenn, like, stepped out of line that first time, and that probably pissed Negan off. So, you know, to show that you shouldn't step out of line anymore, he's probably going to kill Glenn. Daryl, I, I don't know. I really want it to be Carl. I'm sick of Carl. Coral, Coral. No, but um, yeah, that's what I think. But I love this season finale, and I think Glenn died, which I have to wait till later this year when we get the new season. Oh, is, is it later this year, September, or is it gonna be like next year? Let me know. Let me know when the new season of Walking Dead comes on. I, I'm sorry, I'm bad with dates. All right, last question I'm gonna do. Gene C. Rowland, Ruloon, Ru. Lou! Sorry, I probably butchered your name. What's the hardest trailer you have done and what we can expect to come next in your channel? Keep up the awesomeness. Stay awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I am, I, I like to think I am probably 60% awesome, but you know how that goes. But to answer your question, I think the hardest trailer I ever had to cut together was probably, I think it's that recent one, Venom. Because I've been trying to figure out how to put it together for like over a year at when I released it like last week. It was a whole year I had to plan and figure out what exactly I was going to do. And then, you know, finally I had all the pieces in set. I was able to cut it together, but it was still difficult. Because I've seen Venom trailers before, but it just seemed to not really fake. Like you can tell, like there wasn't done in a way that make made it look believable you know it's kind of messed up but it's kind of expected you know no everybody's always on the spider-man bandwagon i understand that but doing the, the the opposite of him and then the tone i wanted to do i had to pick out the tone a whole different tone i don't think a lot of people would you know go for venom or even the actor for that matter sam huntington nobody would expect him to play venom so i thought you know I watched Being Human and I thought it was a good casting choice and I thought, well, why not just roll with this? 
keep in mind, I had to watch a whole season. I mean, I've seen the series before being human, but I had to rewatch the entire first season just to figure out which clips I wanted. Oh, let me tell you, that was exhausting. But, second Venom trailer, hardest one I ever had to cut together. By far, up to this point. Now, what can you expect of me in the future? Well, currently, right now, me and KR Presents, we're working out how we're going to do the, Scott, the final Goblinverse trailer. Expect that. And... I am working kind of on a Justice League trailer. I'm only going to do one because I'm not really a big DC guy. So I'll do one of them eventually, uh, Devils Among Us. And also, um, I am going to cut together maybe a new another clip or an actual trailer to Marvel's Hulk the Forgotten Avenger. That uh, thing I put out about a month ago. I'm really looking forward to that. I, I, I really want to... Uh, do this um, project because I don't know uh, if you remember my very first uh, like trailer campaign thing was it was the Incredible Hulk and I'm glad I get to go back and do another Hulk type um, video because now I get to I know how to edit I know how to do all these things and I know what exactly I can do to make it awesome yeah but expect that in the next few months Goblin verse I wouldn't say the next few months, but judging by the way things are going right now, expect to see it maybe sometime by the end of the year. I'm just just being honest with you, because things have came up in my life. And that was my Q&A, everybody. Uh, I don't know when I'll do another one of these. Maybe in 2020. Let's wait till 2020. Also, I bought my PlayStation. Yes, I am now on my PlayStation 4. I sold my Xbox One. So if you want to add me, add me if you want to add me okay if you want to add me on playstation it's gonna be war dash fighter 268 should be right here yeah so uh come on by we'll play some battlefield we'll play some you know, black ops 3 i guess we'll, we'll, we'll work something out all right okay well that was the q a everybody you have a wonderful day and i hope a stealth bomber crashes into your house Good on you there, buddy. Ah.